the three this is gonna be a lot of cutscenes. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. Yeah, there's a lot. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes. And to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? 
It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. And that was a sub-menu. Yo, bro, this is all... <laughs> I do care about the story, but Jesus Christ. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. This is not good. No, no, it's not good at all. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? 
Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target. And the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, <clears throat> no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far its intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. All right, that was a lot. And how long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, 
It appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. Hmm, a ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Ah, oh, man, I really want to go to Las Vegas. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Hmm. The guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. So I see what is on your mind. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. All right, my control about to die. Um, give me like five seconds. Here we go. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the How you do this? There we go. Oh, we're west, west. What now? If this is 
somehow California. Wouldn't Vegas be like here-ish? I don't know that much about the West, but I'm pretty sure it would be here-ish. Doc? Yeah. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. Mm -hmm. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. Oh, she took it off. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you yeah. be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Guy's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Oh, and a tonic. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. I went from two to eight. All right, my stuff needs to be on point. You know what? I'm gonna cut it here. I my eyes hurt, <laughs> and I'm kind of tired. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. It's been it's been quite a bit. 
Hopefully, I can finish this game in the next two weeks. Hopefully, yeah, in the next two weeks. Definitely before July. I'm not trying to play this game forever. Anyway, um, stay hydrated. <laughs>